Hi everyone, this is JRM Belgium and in this video I'm going to show you how you can either remove um, a monitor or TV playing in the background. For example, let's say you have a wife like me who likes to watch a soccer game behind you or maybe you have a friend who's gaming on a console or another monitor behind you and you don't want to, you know, you don't want that glow behind you, it's an easy fix. Or maybe you wear glasses like me and you want to get rid of uh, reflections from the monitor in your glasses. Now, there are simpler ways to do this. For example, I can simply turn off the TV, but I, I don't think my wife will like that. Uh, or you can also reposition your webcam in a way so that it doesn't reflect um, your monitor in your glasses. Now, the reason why I don't want to accept that solution is because not all software allows you to crop your webcam window. For example, in OBS, it's just fine. But sometimes I just want to do like a simple Skype or I want to use Discord video with someone. And then when I reposition my webcam in that way and I'm not uh, I'm not able to crop um, the webcam so that it looks centered, then it just seems off. Also, it doesn't really look good when, you, you know, your webcam is, is not in the nice center of your monitor. It just doesn't look quite as good and as if it was in the center. So um, I, I, I googled stuff and I you know searched for ways to re remove glass reflections and a few guys on Reddit actually mentioned a polarizing filter. Now some of them, you know, point to lenses that are cost like fifty bucks, hundred bucks, or spe a special holder to hold the lens and all that stuff. You don't need that. All you need is one zip tie. This like the, the same zip types that you use in your case to do the cable management. That's it. This is going to hold the lens in, into place. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to put it around your webcam so that it rests on top of the monitor and the cable that comes out of your webcam. It will be perfectly stable, trust me. And it will work with any webcam. In my case, it's a Logitech Brio, but you can also have like a C920 or a Streamcam or some other brand. It will work with any webcam. This, it, I don't know how much it costs, like five cents, 10 cents. I don't know, but it's really cheap. The second thing you need is this. I'm going to remove it right now. And that's uh, this a polarizing lens from Amazon Basics. I'm going to show you the product right now on the Amazon website. That's it. This costs 10 bucks. That's it. It's supposed to go on a camera lens, but we don't, we're not going to use it for that. We're going to use it for our webcam. Um, or you can use it if you have a, a, a camera, a professional camera that you use as a webcam for streaming. Well, all the better. Uh, then you can definitely use this, but in my case, that's not the case. So this is more tutorial for people with a webcam who want a cheap uh, solution for monitor reflections. I'm going to make the window a bit smaller again. And as you can already see now, now that uh, even if it's only half a screen that you see the reflection of my monitor of this screen in my glasses, right? I'm also have a, I have another picture prepared here to do a good comparison of what it does. As you can see in this picture on the left, without the polarizing filter, it the reflections dominate the picture right you can see the clouds here the reflections on the on the on the car here and with the polarizing filter on they're still there the reflections but they're not that um i don't know not that present they don't dominate the picture like they do uh on the left example here okay so this is an extreme example but it, it shows you what it does basically and i honestly think this is a real picture this isn't isn't photoshopped in any way because it does demonstrate how a polarizing filter actually works um so now i'm going to install the polarizing filter and i'm going to show you and i think my tv just turned off by itself okay. so that's not good i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it back on otherwise i'm not going to be able to demonstrate um how it works Should be a standby screen right now. Give me a second. There we go. Okay. So a really, really bright screen behind me, right? Um, let's say I want to remove that. Let's say this is my wife currently watching TV behind me or a friend gaming behind me on his own monitor or TV. And I don't want that to be visible on my, on my webcam, on my stream. And uh, I don't have a green screen to hide all this. So... I already have the zip tie placed on my webcam, so I don't need to do that anymore. I'm just going to put it on there. That's it. It's installed. And as you can see, the colors of my webcam still look the same. But you also see, see that the television in the background is still there, right? 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the lens like I would on a regular camera. And the zip tie makes it really easy because it's really stable. And as you can see, I'm not even shaking the webcam. And look at this. Look at the TV. There you go. It's like I turned off the TV. It's not off. I can turn it back on. Like, look at this. See? But just rotating the lens a bit, I can actually make the monitor disappear. Now, that wasn't the reason why I bought this. I bought this for this reason. You know, like the, I have the reflection of my in my glasses right now, and I don't want my viewers to see my monitor in my glasses. So I'm going to turn the lens again until I don't see the reflections anymore. And there you go. The reflections in my glasses are completely gone. And as you can see, the TV behind me is back because, you know, the angle changed. But that's it, guys. $10. That's all you need. One zip tie, you know, for cable management. Um, and this Amazon Basics filter. Uh, just to be clear, I'm not sponsored by this product in any way or by Amazon in any way. I don't have an affiliate link. I'm just going to post the product below. Um because maybe you'll find something cheaper. If you do, then just oh, let me know. I'm going to... That. Yeah, that's just the autofocus because I do notice that... There you go. Reflections are gone and my uh, webcam is sharp again. Um, so as you can see, it does really work. So, I mean, $10. I hope this helps out a lot of you guys. I mean, I know that uh, if you want to invest into streaming or just in, in improved webcam quality... It, it's really pricey and this is such an easy solution you can do it yourself and people will visit your when you visit you they will ask you what the hell is that on your webcam but if you explain it to them it they will go oh, because i mean this can be applied for anyone you don't need to be a streamer i often see colleagues at work that wear glasses and i can't see them their eyes at all so i'm gonna re actually recommend this to recommend this to colleagues to family that often use a webcam because this is just so so simple okay i hope you like this video if you do please like and subscribe um, and i might um, add more videos like this that gives you some pointers how to improve the stream quality so let me know if you like this bye bye